inside 13 minutes. Gebra Gebra Marion wearing 86. Sleshi Sahin 88. But also in this field, Elliot Kipchoge of Kenya. If there is to be a threat to Kenanisa Bekele, I suppose it's going to be him. Bekele, who's broken world records over 5,000 metres and 10,000 metres in the last four weeks. Not here tonight, but Elliot Kipchoge of Kenya. Well, he is. Big field, 12 and a half laps of the track. Kip Shugay was the world number one at this event last year. Still just 19, remarkably. 12.52.61 is best time last year, which uh, staggering stuff, really, when you consider he's still just a teenager. He wears 90. Certainly, as we look ahead to the rest of the series here in the Golden lead, the next meeting three weeks' time in Paris. By my reckoning, we're going to have, I think, five athletes going there still with uh, a hand on the gold bars. So they're going to start off in two groups. They'll run that first bend in those two groups. A staggered start before uh, becoming as one as they go down the home straight. Looking for laps, around about 60, 61, 62 maybe. 62 second laps will get you around inside 13 minutes. And a very powerful African presence in this race. Kenya up against Ethiopia, the big East African battle. Starla still not happy. The final track event of the 2004 Golden Gala, the men's 5,000 metres. Not a Golden League event. But I think we can still expect a world-class time. This time they go. That world record, 12.37.35. Set by Kenanisa Bekele on the final day of May in Henglo in Holland. The first of two world records in the space of a couple of weeks. He then went on to Ostrava in the Czech Republic. And put in a remarkable performance. 13.06 Bekele ran for the second 5,000 metres in that 10,000 metre race to break the world record. Martin Kano there in second place. He, uh, something of a perennial pacemaker, doing that job here. So we're looking for a fast time. Elliot Kipchoge wears 90. Be the man who uh, much of this pace really is intended for. And the first lap looks uh, suicidally quick. Looking for something around about 62 seconds.
though still a pretty relentless pace. David Kiplak of Kenya, who paced Kenanisa Bekele's world record in Angelo. Out in front. Martin Kano there in second place. And then the racers just gathering up behind. So Kiplak in first. Kano in second place. Kipchoge there in third. Staying very close to pace there is Kipchoge wearing 90, wearing 69. That's Mashia Salim Jawir of Bahrain, formerly uh, Leonard Machera of Kenya. That is one of the slightly unseemly things in uh, athletics these days, how uh, athletes seem to be selling themselves to one or two of these Middle Eastern nations, changing their names collecting the check and then running in new colours and Leonard Machera now known as Mashir Salim Jawair the latest of those athletes running in the colours of Bahrain and the pace still pretty hot there in the men's 5,000 metres as David Kiplak moves out of the way and gives way to Martin Kano has been followed every step of the way by Elliot Kipchoge Martin Kano leads in the 5,000 metres. But Kano there very much as a pacemaker, followed by Elliot Kipchoge, the world number one at this event. There in third place is Seleshi Sahin of Ethiopia. And the former Leonard Machera, now known as Mashir Salim's Jawair of Bahrain, is in fourth place. The pace, pretty good in this men's 5,000 metres. 2,400 metres covered. And the pace, well, inside 30 minutes at the moment. So it's pretty lively. 2,600 metres to go. In fact, this is the halfway point. The athletes approaching 3,600 metres in this men's 5,000 metres. Time certainly in the moment well inside 13 minutes. It's very, very fast indeed. Elliot Kipchoge is out in front, followed by Celeste Sahin. So it's Kenya 1, Ethiopia in second place. And these two really starting to stretch it as they move towards the final kilometre. So Kipchoge. Seleshi Sahin there in second place, the Ethiopian. The man in third place, by the way, is Mulageta Wadimu of Ethiopia. So two Ethiopians among the first three So Kipchoge, followed by Seen, they're into the last 180 metres, look at the pace, it's very, very good indeed. Remember the world record, 12.37.35, that's uh, not in any danger. But we're going to see a world-class performance here. Elliot Kipchoge, the world number one from last year, holds off the challenge of the Ethiopian. And look at the time. 12.46.54, very fast indeed. A very good run from the Kenyan. Elliot Kipchoge, 12.46.54, the winning time. shoulder there at Sledgy hit Sain. Sain's just 21. He's uh, another athlete to look out for. Come Athens. Uh, 
So it's been a great night here in Rome. Good night for uh, South African athletes. Good run from Llewellyn Herbert.